hi guys welcome to my channel and as i promised you in my last video today i'm gonna tell you where i am moving to because i decided to take a break from ireland and move to <laughs> okay just keep watching this video i'm gonna tell you everything about my decision and where i'm moving to and what i am generally doing i left my job as an area manager at samsung and yeah that wasn't easy <laughs> but it was a very hard decision uh, to do this and to decide to take my break because i live a very stable life currently yes like I have the stability that I know what's going to be tomorrow and making this decision to take a break was really hard because I understand that I am stepping out of my comfort zone and I understand that I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'm taking this break from Ireland and to be honest I did not get any other job or anything else to cover me let's say because yeah I just needed this a simple break to understand what i want to do in life and this is very weird for me because for like in the past six years i constantly had some kind of income and like now not having that constant income would feel really weird even though i still have some savings i still have some income coming to me yes that is gonna still cover like certain expenses that i'm gonna have but still it's gonna be very weird for me you know to make this change to take this break and yeah feels very strange and to be honest i even didn't tell my family that i'm making this decision so the reason i did not tell my family even to loads of friends like i told this decision about this decision to a very small number of people to the people that i had to tell but in general my family doesn't know what i'm doing and the reason is that they will not support my decision and they will start telling me that oh my god what did you do oh my god how are you gonna survive you know so they will start having this negativity and putting that negativity on me and i'm gonna feel i'm already feeling very weird so i'm gonna feel even much worse if um if they start putting this negativity on me and giving me these bad vibes initially when i moved to ireland uh my family did not support me they told me that why oh, why are you moving to ireland come to moldova stay in moldova study in moldova don't move to ireland so i moved to ireland and yeah they told me that no we are not gonna support you if you need any financial or mental support we're not gonna support you and back then i said that okay if you don't want to support me don't support me that's okay um, i'm gonna do things myself that's not a problem and this is what i what happened was that i did things myself and currently to be honest i don't need support i don't need any kind of financial support i didn't i don't even need mental support from them because they don't really understand what i'm going through so i just don't want them to push me and tell me that uh that's it mm, life is terrible i'm gonna die now and i don't know what is gonna happen you know like <laughs> i i don't want to get all those like negative things because you know i moved to a different country i studied i worked i got a good job as well i figured out things myself i uh, did so many things on my own and i sometimes think that my family doesn't really understand the amount of work that i did and how much i did because i realized that <laughs> even like many not some but many members of my family would not be able to do what i did you know they would get scared of, and they would not be able to work as much as i worked you know and go through the things that i went and sometimes i feel like they forget and they don't even understand how strong i can be and they will start pushing me they'll start making me feel like oh my god uh, what are you doing they'll make me feel desperate they will make me feel that i made a huge mistake in my life however my family doesn't understand what i'm going through my family doesn't know how it feels to be alone in a foreign country which is like so far away from from home for example and they just see the money that i earn they know that there is a big big number of course in their view it's a big number for ireland it's a very small number that i'm earning 
they just see a big number and they think that oh my god life is amazing Why? because there is a big number in money they don't understand taxes they don't understand how i'm failing they don't understand how my daily life is you know they just see the money and i was recently discussing with a friend that when you move abroad you actually do not count not count life but you do not look at life through uh, the money point of view you start looking at life through the um, through the happiness point of view yes you start measuring things in happiness how happy are you you know you don't measure things in money anymore because i know that if somebody lives somewhere yes they did not uh, move abroad uh, they of course think that there is money growing on the trees abroad and they of course measure things in money <laughs> but when you move abroad you actually start measuring things in your happiness and how good you feel how good your qual quality of life is and um yeah, I think this is such a great term that we were discussing with my friend. My friend actually used to uh, live in uh, Cork uh, for four years. So hello, Pablo, hope you're doing well. I don't know if you're watching my videos, but hello, hope everything is great. And uh, he moved back to Spain. So yeah, we had a great discussion with him and he offered me a lot of support. I am in the future right now. And, you know, I just can't believe I'm filming again because I actually took a break for quite some time because I was adjusting to my new life. And as I told you in this video, I'm going to tell you where I moved. But before telling you where I moved, I want to tell you what I did before I left Ireland. So I wanted to make the most out of my time. I knew that I had a few months probably or even a month and I just wanted to enjoy my time because it's still a beautiful country and I wanted to make use of all the possible opportunities. So one of my friends came over to Ireland. I invited her a long time ago and she finally decided to go and buy the ticket and come over. So I showed her around and it was amazing to spend some time with her. We went to the Cliffs of Moher and you know Cliffs of Moher are a must go. It is a very popular touristic location so if you come for the first time to Ireland and if you get out of Dublin you have to go to the Cliffs of Maher. Then we had some coffee and some desserts in Galway City and we enjoyed Galway City because Cliffs of Maher are not too far away from Galway City and yeah we did enjoy our time in there and it's a beautiful beautiful place and though it's it was very rainy all the time but we still enjoyed. We also went to the Akil Island so I should leave you a um, probably a map here so you know where the Akil Island is on the map. And oh my god, guys, I was impressed. Even though I lived in Ireland for six years, I've seen the nature, but I was impressed by the Akil Island. My friend as well absolutely loved it. So we did drive in there. We went to the Kim Bay and the Kim Beach. And you know, guys i was impressed by the beauty i was impressed by the colors even though it was really gray and rainy like all the time honestly my friend was in ireland for three days and it was rainy for all three days the rain just didn't stop we still enjoyed the beach we still had a little bit of a walk we still enjoyed all the beauty on the road that we've seen you know so yeah it is absolutely beautiful eating my seafood chowder and I absolutely love how much seafood there is in this chowder like it's a lot then we went to Dublin of course I had to show to my friend Dublin and I told her that if you come to Ireland you have to you have to experience the nature outside Dublin and just go outside Dublin but also you experience Dublin as well because it really has an, um, a huge amount of nice places and nice, nice things to do as well in there. So her bathing on the roof, her beauty and the moonlight over through ya. She tied you to And of course we had a drive in the Wicklow Mountains and we went to the Guinness Lake. We absolutely loved it, it was nice and you know the color of that lake is 
very dark, so it actually looks like Guinness beer, you know, and you know Guinness beer. It is a pretty strong and dark beer as well. So yeah, absolutely love my time with my friend. And also I did spend some more time with my friends from Ireland. And yeah, we also had a ride on the motorbikes in Wicklow Mountains and it was still very beautiful and I'm so thankful to them for that beautiful last experience and you know i actually can't wait to go back to ireland and see my friends again because i'm really really missing them you know um it is a hard thing about moving is missing people you know you always miss those nice people who spent and shared so much time and memories with you so again i want to thank again my friends if you're watching this video and Okay guys, so where did I move? If you are following me on Instagram, you have definitely seen where I moved because I actually had so much more time to post stories on Instagram and posts on Instagram. Uh, but I had much less time to edit uh, videos and post videos here. So I moved back to my home country, to Moldova. And, you know, I was thinking, where should I go? But I really wanted to spend some time at home with my family, with my friends. I wanted to enjoy some good weather, some good food. And I absolutely loved my time so far. Um, so I moved in... Uh, where, when did I move? Oh, on the 7th of... Um, July 2022 and I've been here for a pretty long time for like seven or eight months already and the time just flew you know it just flew and I'm enjoying my time at home though I have some challenges and let me know if you want me to tell you more about the challenges which I had when I moved back and about the challenges which I'm facing currently um, but again, you know, moving back home is not as hard, though I had to still adjust. It is not as hard because I already know the culture, I have friends, I have family, I have support in here. Because when you move to a completely new country, you don't have friends, you don't have family, you don't have support. So it's a different story, but I still had to adjust. And yeah, I've been enjoying my life here. I had plenty of tasty food because we actually do have very, very high quality food in Moldova. It's really tasty. It's really good. Um, I'm enjoying many walks. I live a very, very active lifestyle. I'm enjoying my job and I'm enjoying my friends and my family and yeah, just living a pretty normal, good life. And yeah, just looking at the blue blue sky and the nice weather is really inspiring for me as well. Let me know if you want me to tell you much more about my life here in Moldova, because it, it is beautiful, though challenging, um, and about the moving back and how it feels, and I'll be very happy to share more. Um, anyways, I took a long break from filming because I was really busy with trying to organize my life, and now I feel like I kind of got adopted more or less i can say but i have a bit more energy even like mental energy and a bit more free time and because it's starting to the spring is starting and it's beautiful it's sunny i have more motivation so i'll try to get back to you and i'll try to film much 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 more for you but anyways follow me on instagram because on instagram i do actually post much more i do have so much more time and so much more energy to post in there because it's much quicker and much easier um i I am on TikTok, so I'll try to get a bit more active on TikTok and film for you some shorter videos if you want to. All the links will be in the description to this video. And thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for waiting for me because I know so many of you told me that you're eagerly waiting for my videos. And, you know, I, um, I, I just can't wait to film more because filming is certainly one of my hobbies and I'm really enjoying doing it. I'm enjoying you know, documenting my life and um, I even am enjoying watching some of my old videos. So yeah, thank you very much for being with me. Thank you very much for waiting for me. And uh, anyways, let me know in the comments what you would like me to share more and would you continue watching me? I'm just very curious because I know that my audience was very Ireland based. You know, many of you wanted to move to Ireland and wanted to find more about it. But as I moved. I'm just very curious to know if you would still be following me and if there is anything interesting that you'd like me to share with you. 
Cool. Thank you very much. And I'll see you and talk to you very, very soon.